Hello everybody and thank you for watching this CCN News Blast. Crown City News, your news, your neighborhood. I'm Paulo Alejandria. I'm at Pasadena High School where on Wednesday, April 25th, the Reverend Jesse Jackson spoke to students here in order to motivate and inspire them about their future. Afterward, we caught up with the Reverend to get his take on the local case of the officer-involved shooting death of 19-year-old Kendrick McDade. I am somebody and I matter. Everybody matters. We work together. Nothing stops. Nothing stops. We choose non-violence. Non -violence. Not, because Not because we're scared, but because we're smart. We choose non-violence. Not because we're scared, but because we're brave. On Wednesday, the Reverend Jesse Jackson paid a visit to Pasadena High School to talk to students about tolerance and unity. Notable guests included Pasadena Police Chief Philip Sanchez and Pasadena NAACP President Joe Brown along with Anya Slaughter and Kevin McDade, the parents of Kendrick McDade, the 19-year-old who was shot and killed by two Pasadena police officers just over a month ago. They were accompanied by their family's attorney, Carrie Harper. In his address, Reverend Jackson rallied his young audience to strive for greater understanding among one another through nonviolence. After his address, we caught up with Reverend Jackson standing alongside Anya Slaughter as he shared his thoughts on the death of Kendrick McDade. Ken McDade's killing here. Another case of an unnecessary death, a man who was unarmed and should be alive and he's dead. Police are now making adjustments in their policies as to what did happen. We don't know what the conclusion will be, except we do know an unarmed man is dead and that pattern, that pattern must stop. The, the, the trigger fingers are much too quick. He was pursued much too long on foot, uh, three blocks it is suggested. Uh, it's not worth a death. Uh, we've made decisions now to stop chasing people in automobiles at a certain point because you, you risk other people's lives and that happened here. But we, we're going to wait to see what the, what the results are going to be uh, from the, a thorough investigation and we'll stand, stand by uh, with a great concern until the matter not only is resolved but, but other matters like this do not occur. That's how I feel. It's hard to believe that April marks the 20th anniversary of the Los Angeles riots. When asked to give his appraisal on just how far we've come in those 20 years, Reverend Jackson says that in many ways we become a more violent society, pointing to an increase in homicide since then. However, he says he remains hopeful that the young generation will lead the way to a more civilized society. Well, that'll do it for this edition of the CCN News Blast. Don't forget to check us out on the web at crowncitynews.com. And, as always, Crown City News, your news, your neighborhood. In Pasadena, Paulo Alejandria, CCN.